Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to Final Fantasy IV with Tragic Life. Uh, we just beat this game with Cecil, Rosa, Kane, Riddy, and Edge, the original party from the original game. Um, the last boss was pretty ugly. And then off screen, I went back through it with Yang, Sid, Edward, Palom, and Parom, and I beat it again. Uh, one of the really cool things, and I wasn't expecting the game to do this, but um, the characters that weren't part of your original party level up with you. So it was very easy to go back and just beat it, which was awesome. Um, beating the game with all ten characters opens all ten trials. Might be nine characters. If nine characters opens up nine trials. Um, so we're setting up the first group. There's going to be three different groups that we're going to set up for this. Uh, for all the trials. But the first group is going to be Rosa, Cecil, Rydia, Yang, Edward. Um, their equipment is going to be simple. I'm not going to name everything. You can kind of look at it. Okay, so today uh, we're going to go ahead and tackle the first two trials and the pathways to them. Now, the pathways to them are random. So it may take me a second to figure out which path I'm on, okay? Without further ado, let's do it. These are the lunar ruins of forgotten dungeons of old. This dungeon takes your worst doubts and fears and presents them in various floors. You must reach the deepest depth by overcoming tremendous trials. You must conquer each trial and gather nine tomes. Only when the last one is claimed can you overcome the final trial. And we're going to do all 10. All right. All right, so. This one's easy. So. All right, that was a gold dragon and a death mask, which is my least favorite bad guy in this game. Okay, maybe it's further down. Hey, finally get to show you a great marble. Um, most of this I'm doing auto battle because my characters are so strong that it's, I've, I've overdone it. Okay, where do I, how do I get down there? Is it here? Ah, it's here. Ah, and another fight. All right, we got a goblin prince. All right, where's my magician? We're going to hit him with magic. Not that one. Uh, we'll hit him with Blazaka. Honestly, the Goblin Prince isn't much different than a uh, Goblin at this point. They don't really do much. It's just a different variant. So we're going to come up here. There's another of those Flans and a Goblin Prince. Not a dry either. So there should be four floors between this and the actual trial of Yang. So here, uh, go right. That was a behemoth and two uh, goblin kings. Princess, whatever. Okay, go, that goes across. Now go back in here and go up and to the right. And we're to the second one. Okay, so let's see. I don't know which one this is. I gotta find a chest and then a. Oh. Alright, that was a gold dragon and a death head. Death heads are the only thing that can really hurt me in this dungeon at the moment. I don't know if that will always be the case. But for the moment, that was a singular goblin prince, which. whatever. Alright. <clears throat> Well, that was a dead end. I think I was supposed to go east here. And it leads me to... That was two goblin princesses. Is this the next potion? It's a cottage. Hmm. Hold on. All right. I know where we are now. Okay. Okay. That was three of the flans and another uh, goblin prince. 
Okay, so we're going to go this way for the chest here, which should be, if I got it right, a dry either, yes. The set of three Finlands and a Prince. Go through the wall. Just push directions until you move. All right. Okay, so which one is this? Uh, head through the wall to the west. Oh, right, that was another death head and a behemoth this time. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's uh, through the wall of the west, north of the dead end, so we're going to go south as far as we can. And then you can pass through the wall to the east. Don't do it yet. Rather head west than north. There was another golden dragon and a death head. I absolutely hate the death head still. That was a behemoth and a death head. And they, the death heads are really picking on Yang. I don't know if it's because he's just unlucky or if this is his... Technically, this is his... Um, trial we're heading to. So that's why it's being a pain in the butt. I don't really know. Alright. Should be a dry either. That was a great Marlboro. I don't know what the great Marlboros do because I've never seen them attack. Should be another dry either. Cool. That was another great Marlboro. Apparently this is where they are. Oh, we have something new. An echidna. Which, isn't that what Knuckles is? I could have sworn that's what Knuckles was in Sonic. Was it an echidna? Yeah, that don't look like Knuckles, though. Oh, 9,999 hit. Get it, dude. Alright, there's two great marbles, and again, they didn't do anything. They just looked at me funny. That was a gold dragon and another death head. It went the wrong way. You're only supposed to go through one of the walls. Now we go north. There, that was an echidna and a goblin prince. That was an that was an echidna. I think we just followed this all the way up. And okay, so this is a maze. You have to go through this room here, and then come up here, and you get the next potion. Now we just exit. Another great marble. All right, a great marble and two uh, goblin princes. Um, the last fight was two goblin princes. This was or two great marbles. This was an echidna and a behemoth. And we're done here. We just got to get out. All right, this means we're at the dungeon. So this is Kane's area. Okay. Uh, this is pretty simple. You just go forward. This looks like some kind of training area. Yay. I feel something, a strong energy. I see you are more than an ordinary human. <clears throat> I am the Lunar Titan. You must show me your strength. Okay. Okay. I shall test your powers. Here he comes. So this is the big fight. You got to fight up. Uh, it says eight monk warriors, but as you see, there's a lot more than that. There's not much to it. Uh, if you're under level, uh, you can definitely yeah. heal after the fight because you probably need to. My characters are un... It's kind of boring because I can auto-fight everything and win. I feel like I robbed you guys of an actual challenge. But it is what it is. I can't go back and fix it. So we're going to keep going forward. Time for battle. And we do it again. 
So that was the exact same fight. No differences. Time for battle. This one's different only in the fact that we're fighting super monks. Um, I'm not really sure what makes them super because they seem to be the exact same thing that we fought but a different color. So at this point, if you're low level, like the guy that the guy that I'm following, the guy is his uh, character is level uh, Cecil 60. My my Cecil is 99. In fact, everyone's 99 except for Rydian. Um, This is where you heal because you're gonna have a gauntlet coming up in the next section. I'm gonna skip most of the fights because you've seen them. Please fight with us and help us train. Here he comes. I did mess up though. I messed up. Um, I'll, I'll show you what I was supposed to do, and I'll do it now. Um, and then we'll go ahead and beat these guys, and I'll, I'll meet you. And then where is it? So everyone needs to be floating. Uh, because we're fighting Titan. So I'll meet you at that fight. So the first group was who amongst as you saw. Time for battle. Alright, with eight of those. Now I think it's time for him. Please fight with us and help us train. Oh, it's the same set. Alright, it was another set of master trainers. This is enough. You are the first to come all this way. I shall lend you my powers, if you can prove yourself. So, I messed up again. We're not floating. First thing we want to do is we want to float. Because <coughs> he does a lot of earthquakes. Now, what you would generally do in this fight, he has... How much life does he have? He has 120,000 life. Which is a lot. Why are my characters not floating? Why are my characters not floating? I don't understand why we're not floating. Okay, so we're supposed to be floating. I messed up somewhere, and we're not floating, so this could become problematic. So, um, Cecil and Edward should be attacking normally. Yang should use his focus. Rydia should use use flare, and Rosa should use Karaja. Okay. So let me let me put this into place. We were supposed to be floating, so we didn't take damage by the earthquake, but I forgot to cast it. So I unintentionally turned this into a fight. Focus. I mean, it's still not that much of a fight. He does have a lot of life. The earthquake doesn't hurt me that much, uh, but it's generally pretty devastating, so you got to be careful. Right, go back to flare. Yeah, 120,000 life. I may stop after this fight and then do Edward's bites out, because there's apparently a lot more than I thought. This video is taking longer than I thought it would. Well, that's a bad thing. I mean, we're really close to the end of the actual game of Final Fantasy IV. We have a couple other things to do with the Final Fantasy uh, PSP uh, list or game. But, for the most part, we're almost done. Well, maybe not. Uh, uh, after Year sounds like it actually might be a pretty long game. So he has some strong physical attacks. He can petrify us. 
Um, and he can instantly kill us with Crush. I've never seen him do it. Uh, he just did it now. Is it going to work? It didn't work. Not complaining. Just saying. Oh, we're going to be here a while. All right. I think I might hit him with Holy, because why not? Got him. All right. So he gives us a couple things. Okay. And we'll go over it as we get it. Um, summon book, uh, Lunar Titan. Okay. You can only have one of those at a time. If you can use it, and I may. I may actually come back in here and use it, or I might find a battle to use it in. Um, eventually. Um, this armlet shall be yours. Th this is obtain martial armlet. Farewell. Lunar Titan. On to the next. Okay, so the lunar or the martial armlet is strong um it also turns yang's focus i mean his focus is pretty good but now it's going to be deadly it does three times the damage instead of double um we're not going to equip it i may equip it to show it off later but i don't know um so you can have one of those books for mr lunar type uh, if you use it and you need another one, you can come back in here and fight him again and get it back. Um, if you have one and you come back and fight him, you'll get gold apples. Which, if you really want to, like, build your characters up to 9,999 life, especially the ones that can't get there naturally, you can farm apples here. As you saw, it wasn't that difficult to beat. If I would have had my character floating, it would have been a lot faster. Um, so next time, we'll go ahead and cover Edward's route. I haven't gone that far, so I have no idea what's going to happen when we go that path. So until next time, adios, amigos.